Jewish wedding in Bombay. Vi. Nisim Ezekiel. Nisim Ezekiel. Nisim Ezekiel, an Indian Jewish poet, actor, playwright, editor, and art critic was born on December 16, 1924 in Maharashtra. Graduated in literature from Wilson College, Mumbai in 1947. 1947 to 1948, taught English literature and published literary articles. Studied philosophy at Breakbeck College, London. Published the first work The Bad Day in 1952. Honored with Padma Shri Award in 1988. Won Sahitya Akademi Cultural Award in 1983. He was a foundational figure of post-colonial Indian English literature. Considered as the father of modern Indian English poetry. Died on January 9, 2004. Jewish Wedding in Bombay. Published in the collection 60 Poems in 1953. Indicates the customs and traditions of Indian wedding. Criticizes the patriarchy in the society. Exposes the darker aspects of marriages in India. Summary The poem is in first-person narrative and the poet starts the poem by stating that the mother of the bride had shed tears. It is considered to be a custom to do so and with enjoyment she shed her tears. The bride laughed at the poet and asked him not to be silly, when he felt little sympathetic on the custom. He indicates that her brothers had the shoe of his and he had to pay to get it back. As the poet is the bridegroom all were staring at him and he was very reluctant. In the Indian custom most of the bridegrooms will seek dowry. He has not asked for dowry as he claimed himself to be modern. Her father laughed at him when he replied that he is not aware of the jewellery he is expecting from the bride. He says that there was no kind of band outside the synagogue in their marriage procession but some rituals were there. He can witness the crowd of well-dressed people. Then he states about the custom of drinking grape juice from a common glass for bride and bridegroom. Unknowingly they broke that glass and the whole congregation clapped and uttered that they are truly married and good couple as per the law of Moses. He states that these are the things happened as the ritual during their wedding ceremony. He tells that, like others, the bride and bridegroom were amused. The poet then indicates the custom of the people in and around that locality. He says that people used to take beef as it is cheaper and some used to take pork too. The Sunday or the Sabbath was fully enjoyed with betting, swearing, and drinking. His father used to say that the orthodox people were able to know how to be and his father too was little liberal. His mother was very proud of being progressive in nature. After the wedding ceremony was over they moved to the photographic studio of Lobo and Fernandez who were specialists in wedding portraits. After that they moved to the kitchen of the wife's apartment and as she wished they got united physically. The poet recollects the events happened before 10 years. The poet says that after being 18 months in London he returns with horrible out of practice. He indicates the sexual life they had and recollects the serious quarrel they had. His wife asked him why did he take away her virginity. The poet states that he would gladly return it to her but he is unaware how to return as no books are there to instruct him. The poet states the patriarchy in the society where the male is dominant and the women is controlled by him. His exposure of harsh realities of human life has brought him close to the aspects of marriage. Through the wedding the human develops a relationship which is bonded to be there till the end of the life with joy and sorrow. For more videos, like, share, subscribe. Thank you.